Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given two strings, A and B, and we need to return the minimum number of times A should be repeated, so B is a substring of it. So what's that mean? So for example, in this case, we have A is A, B, C, D, and we have a B. So in this case, A is repeated three times. So this is the first time, this is the second time, and this is the third time. And after that, B is a substring of, so here B, right? B is a substring of A. So B is a substring of A, so we are returning three. So how are we are gonna solve this problem? So let's take a step by step. So let's first add A once, right? So we have A once, so let's add that here, A, B, C, D. So it's repeated once. So now the next one we are adding. So we are going to add A until the size of A at least equals to B or more or more than B. Because in order for B to be the substring of A, it, the size should be equal to A or it should be less than A, right? In this case, B is more than A. So we are adding A. So we are repeating A until the size of it is equals or more than B. So we are, it's, it's repeated once, right? And the size of it is less than B. So we are adding one more time, A, B, C, D, second time, right? So here in this case also, the size of it is less than B, size of A is less than B, let's call it temp, right? Temp string. So the, the size of this temp string, we repeated A, twice it's still less than b so we are adding again one more time a b c d so it's the third time so it's the first one right it's the second one and it's the third one now the size of it is is more than b so now what we do next step so the next step is we are searching in our this new temp string we are searching is it is b is a substring of is b is a substring of um temp so uh, let, let, let's put our first rule. Our first rule is that uh, we are creating a new string, right? And we are adding temp. We are adding to our temp our A until the size of it is more than or equals to B. So if after that, after adding this, we are, if after adding this, the B is a substring of A, then in that case, we are returning that value. So for example, in this case, we are returning three. So we have one more case. Let's say that the, our B is equals to B, C, D, A, and our A is equals to, our A is equals to A, B, C, D. So the size of them are equal. So again, we are incrementing, we are creating a new variable temp, and we are incrementing that until the temp is, is more than or equals to B. So in this case, it's right away, the, the size of the A and the B strings, they are the same. So what we do in this case, and the B is not substring of A. So we are adding one more time. So we are adding, repeating A one more time. So we are adding A, B, C, D. And now we are checking that if B is, whether B is the substring of A. So now indeed, in this case, B, C, D, A, so it's a substring of it's a substring of a. So the second rule we can put here. So first we are creating a temporary variable temp, and we are repeating a uh, number of times until the size of temp is more than size of b. So then we are checking that if the b is a substring of temp, that's the first one. If b is not substring of temp, then we are adding temp. We are repeating A one more time. And then again, we are checking that the, if the B is substring of temp. So if it is, then we are returning that value. So for example, in this case, we are gonna return two. two. In this case, we are returning three. If not, if if both of these cases, we cannot, B is not substring of A, then we are returning minus one. Okay, first thing that we do here, we are creating a count that we are going to return. And uh, so the next step is we are creating a string builder and uh, we are calling it temp. So we are adding to our temp A 
as many times so we are adding for example in in our if we take the first example right we are adding that twice so we are adding that until our b length until it's um, more than or equal to our b length so and we are increasing our count the next step is that we are checking that if our temp string if it contains b which means that the b is a substring of temp so if it is then we are returning our count so for example again referring to our first example we are going to return three here so the next one is that we are if it's not then we are adding a one more time as in our second example right we are adding a one more time and again checking that uh, if b is a substring of our temp then if it is then we are returning count plus one because we added a one more time if not then which means that the b cannot be substring of a doesn't matter how many times we are adding and we are returning minus one so what's the time complexity of this solution the time complexity is that uh, is determined by this while loop and by the contains method and in both of these cases the time complexity is n so we are taking our time complexity as of n and the space complexity is determined by our string builder and again the time complex space complexity in this case will be of n Okay, uh, that's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.